Hi folks, welcome back to another Atari 2600 review on the channel. My name is Nick and this game, this Pac-Man like game it seems, is called Mousetrap, published by Coleco Industries in 1982. It's based on the arcade game uh, which was produced by, if I'm going to pronounce this right, which is probably not, Xzd in 1981. Pac-Man was the previous year, 1980 from Namco, but the ghosts have been replaced by cats, three uh, cats on this one, I think the arcade version had six. And uh, essentially, you can press fire buttons to turn into a dog if you collect enough. But oh, have I started? I didn't mean to start there. Anyway, fire buttons click, fire, click, change into a dog to chase the cat. And you'll see there's flashing bits on the screen. Hopefully, they're gateways. We're now into the dog where you can open those. But essentially, like Pac Man, oops, I changed back there. Uh, collect all the dots. And I think the Atari 2600 has a problem with this because they're uh, like horizontal dashes, which there are in a number of games. Um, so at the moment, then. Mm. Uh, we'll see uh, if the mazes change colour because that add a little bit uh, to it. Uh, Pac-Man on the Atari 2600 wasn't very good, but Miss Pac-Man a little bit later was, and so was Junior Pac-Man. This one looks a little bit basic, 1982 uh, Coleco Industries. I think it got re-released in 1987 or 1988 by Atari. Okay, let's start again. So light up the top uh, three left. Just collect all the pills uh, by holding the fire button uh, a long leg for time. It seems to turn into the dog, but uh, you, you're only that for uh, a, a few seconds there. Just concentrate on not running into cats as normal and collecting all the dots. Now, if you had this one back in the day, dashes, I mean, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. There's probably a little bit of skill involved in opening the doors at the right time. Um, I'm desperate to get to the next mate to see what actually changes. As I say, if you played this before, Mousetrap, or the arcade version, uh, let me know. But I'm not overly impressed uh, so far. When it comes to maze games, my favourite on this system is Alien, which is, follows another Pac-Man sort of like idea, but it's, it seems to be better done with a mini game in the middle, uh, avoiding Aliens going backward and forward. But anyway, we're getting a bit closer. Uh, unlike other Pac-Man games, when you collect the, the bones, um, as you see by that sort of like X there, it doesn't do a power pill immediately. You have to activate that by holding the fire button down. Right, okay. Uh, it all seems a bit floaty as well, the controls. Uh, if you go in the other direction, the the, uh, the mouse still seems to be heading in that bit, so it's not very precise at all. But anyway, let's uh, try and um, get past these cats. Um, I do like Pac-Man when they try and get a different genre, like pac a we looked at on the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum was Pac-Man but underwater. Uh, this one it doesn't seem quite as accomplished, but it is early uh, 80s, 1982, so you know, I can't be too harsh. No bits of fruit appearing for bonus uh, scores. There we go. And this maze looks exactly the same. Oh man. Now these reviews aren't about expert gameplay. Uh, they're about seeing how the game sounds and plays, but more importantly, was there enough there for you to want to go back and play it back in the day? Uh, games tend to be quite expensive for the Tide Fence time because they were like physical cartridges. This would have kept me entertained for about five minutes, and then I would have soon got bored of the thing, I think. Maybe I'm being a bit cruel, but I just... It's there as a piece of retro history, but I'm not really enjoying it to a great deal. But anyway, we've reviewed quite a lot of Atari 2600 games, a lot better than this one, uh, but although it's interesting to see, uh, maybe it'll, it'll grow on me as the, the review progresses. But if you want to see other games, click on my uh, username, that'll take you to the channel page, then click on the playlist tab, unless YouTube have changed it, uh, and that'll take you to the various systems. Atari 2600 will be there. It's all about seeing everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so I think a good defence would be to lock yourself into this middle bit as well so the cats can't get you. Uh, normally with cats you just put down like a, a basket with a, with a rug in it or throw them a ball of string, that'll keep them occupied. But anyway, there's this mouse head running around, uh, which they will, will maybe get. I don't know, I think cats have got better stuff to do. Cats rule everything really. And now I'm this big bulldog, but for a really slow length of time. What I don't like is the noise when you eat the cat like you would eat the ghost, oh, it's, right, let's start again, the eat the ghost in Pac-Man is exactly the same sound as when you die, so sometimes it's not obvious uh, what's happened. But anyway, restart again. Can't, game's quite poor in my in my, in my review. Uh, um, we're reviewing this due to a recommendation. That person might have liked it more than me, or just recommended a maze game, which is fair enough. It's good to see them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean... If I'd saved up my pocket money to buy a cartridge and bought this, I wouldn't have been overly pleased. I would have been preferred to spend it on something else a little bit uh, cooler. 
But it's basic enough, maybe based on uh, younger gamers uh, there back in the day, 1982, I would have been eight. But I still don't think it would have been enough to entertain me. Anyway, we didn't have anything else, it might have done a bit more. Bit of a flashing on those doors. Uh, the arcade is a bit uh, bigger than this, I believe. Six cats instead of three. Uh, I think you can open the doors individually. Here they all open at the same time. So a bit more tactical on that version. But if you like the arcade game and you had an Atari 2600, uh, I suppose this is quite more or less as close as you're going to get to the thing. But uh, out of the two, pick Miss Pac-Man, really. Miss Pac-Man or Alien uh, for the win. You put your favourite maze game on this system below, or favourite maze game on any system. PlayStation 5, Nintendo 8 billion, whatever's out at the moment. But uh, yes. Uh, thank you for everyone that subscribed. If you haven't done so so far, please consider subscribing. <laughs> because that helps the channel grow, uh, gives me power to potentially go more time, maybe in the future, and be able to give this channel a whole lot more of love. Thank you very much for, for the, the PayPal, PayPal um, contributions, coffee, super thanks, and all that sort of jazz, and to the members as well. If you want to support the channel a bit more, click on the members button, and there should be a bit of video by me, tell you a bit more what it involves, so thank you there. I do try and put up as much as I possibly can, quite often I'm up against it in some shape or form, um, sometimes I plan a load of stuff and it's just, just not possible. But anyway, I'll give you as much as I can. It's not progressing anywhere, is it, this game? It's the same maze over and over and over and over again. Uh, I, would have, I would like different colour mazes, that would be nice to do. Maybe a small variation in the maze. Uh, but yeah, it's exactly the same thing over and over again. Um, not a great deal has happened. Now, I've collected four bones up there. When I collect the next one, it's not going anywhere else. Yes. It... It could be it could be so much more, but it's a bit meh, M E H meh. It's 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 not it's not going on. It's not a very memorable game. If someone if you told someone uh, to put down their top ten of Tri Six Hundred games, it's unlikely that Mousetrap would be in this. Uh, when I think of the name Mousetrap, I do think of this board game. Which took forever to set up, uh, but basically, uh, yeah, you had to trap a mouse under a cage, and you can imagine all the paraphernalia setting that up and balancing it and all that sort of like business. Anyway, let's have another go. Get to my better judgment. This will be my last go, but we know what we're going to get. Collect all the horizontal lines. Strategically open and close doors. Don't get scratched to death uh, by cats or eaten. When necessary, change into a dog and chase the cats away. Hooray! Or even eat the cat, something like that. Um, progress nowhere. It's like a lime green. Uh, this is being played in pale mode, so I don't know if the US might have been slightly uh, different colours. But um, maybe. Some of brown seems like red, versa versa. But it's red on that dog anyway, so I doubt this is going to change a great deal. I'm bored already. I'm bored already. There, there's lots and lots of maze games, probably hundreds on various systems. I don't think, I might be wrong, I don't think this come out on, on the Spectrum, or definitely not the Mega Drive or the Commodore Amiga we look at, but uh, yes. Beep, 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 beep. Miss Pac-Man, Alien, say no more, say no more. Well, you know, uh, how long have we been going? One more, one more go for luck. This is the last one. This is the last one. But uh, play, playability is a little bit limited, but... Just playing at this head. The head, uh, head sort of like moves, does it? it? Looks like he's chewing or something. It's not going up or down. The graphics on the cats aren't too bad, I suppose. They're wiggling their tails like that. They're like ginger cats, ginger toms maybe, or ginger tims. Uh, the dog doesn't stay very active very long, does he? He, get, he gets bored a lot. So I don't know if a mouse can turn into a dog. That's a that's a very that's a very nice trick. If you're a mouse that can turn into a dog, then comment below. Well done, well done you. That is a special special thing to have. Right, this is my last life. Some people might be saying thank God. Uh, a lot of people, other people will be doing something else now. Maybe looking on another video or watching the TV or uh, maybe um, I don't know, kidnapping a princess and locking her in a tall tower. But uh, just tell me what you're doing at this point. If indeed you're still here. If you've gone five minutes ago, let me know as well. Atari 2600 Retro Gaming. My channel's here to try and beat stress, and essentially it's not scripted. You might be able to tell. And it's me just waffling on, playing the games good and bad and awful and dodgy gameplay and all that sort of razzmatazz. Time recording, the channel's just gone over, I think, 4,030 subscribers. Check out the total now. Is it more? Is it less? Actually, if you want to... This, this video might have gone up years ago by the time you watch it. Hopefully it now it says 10 million. Uh, there, write down what it is at the moment. Deleted, deleted. 
Yes. If you had a friend coming round, I, I think you, you might play this game as a, as a warming up game, but it's certainly not a game to linger on. Um, play something else quite quickly uh, soon after. Biff, baff, boff. Nice bit of music, though. That's the, probably the best bit of the game, that bit of music. But it just takes you to a maze. It's always lime green. There's always three ginger cats. Uh, nothing progresses. You're always collecting a bone. And yeah, that's, that's it, really. I mean, there are other repetitive games uh, that I do like. Um, this isn't uh, essentially a bad game. Uh, it's aimed at uh, younger gamers with a no attention span, I, supp <laughs> I suppose. As an adult, it's not really meant for adults, but as an adult, I find it really hard to get into this, even from a nostalgia or retro point of view. And it's from an era that I, I really, really like as well. Early 80s, 1982, right, right early. I think the Spectrum had just come out at this, uh, this uh, very point, and it was a novelty controlling state that was even moving uh, on the screen. Before that, we just had maybe Teletext or CFAX in there. Exciting. Right. right, I think I've got this, have I? Did he did? Right. Oh, look at that. It's this maze again. It's the last thing I was expecting. It's a lime green maze. Like a hedge maze, I suppose, from Hampton Court. Yes. Right. Um, normally on Atari 2600 games, they have like a nice um, earthly sound. The sounds. These are quite high pitched, these ones. Uh, recently uh, reviewed Gyros, which was fantastic. That had music playing all, all along. So if you, had, if you had a choice of two cartridges, priced the same amount of money, this or Gyros, definitely well, you would have picked Gyros. Definitely, 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 ooh. Right, dear Lee. I think that's, oh, right, I've got two more lives left. Let's lose them quickly. As Eminem said, let's lose it. Uh, oh, God. Deleted. Deleted. I mean, I could have done this review in three minutes, but anyway. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just kill this mouse. Kill this mouse. Come on, kitty. Come through here. Kill me. Right, good. Thank God for that. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that. I found it really tough going. A very basic maze game. Much better was to come. It doesn't really progress anywhere or offer too much, but some kids would have liked it, bearing in mind it was only 1982. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Mousetrap from Coleco Industries in 1982. Uh, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fun. Goodbye. Goodbye.